Hello there and welcome to another video here on the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais Urlichs. I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate at Aqua Security. Now, this video is going to be focused on showing you how you can use Trivia, the all in one open source security scanner for misconfiguration scans, specifically how you can scan your Terraform modules for misconfiguration. I'm going to show you the different options that we have for Terraform, as well as how you can pass policies into your Terraform scans. And then I'm also going to introduce you to one of our new features of scanning the output of your Terraform plan command for misconfiguration issues. Let's get started. As always, all of the resources that I have used in this video are linked below in the description. So do check it out. Do check out the documentation for more information. Now, if you're already familiar with the Aqua open source project ecosystem, you might have heard of or even used TFSEC before. TFSEC is a Terraform specific misconfiguration scanner. Now, since a while now, Trivi is supporting misconfiguration scanning of Terraform modules uh, natively. And as part of our efforts to expand Trivi, uh, Trivi is now the one the go to place for all of your security scanning related efforts within Aqua open source ecosystem. And that includes all of the misconfiguration scannings, including Terraform misconfiguration scanning as well. So if you're still using TFSEC, we highly encourage you to move over to Trivi and use Trivi for your uh, Terraform misconfiguration scanning instead. Now, if you want to have further information on that, here's the discussion with the announcement related to that process. So Trivi is our all-in-one open source security scanner. It does lots of different types of misconfiguration scanning, including Terraform, CloudFormation, Kubernetes Manifest, and that includes Helm templating, Helm charts, as well as customized templating, customized charts, um, as well as scanning Docker files for misconfiguration issues and other resources. These are just the ones that I can remember on the top of my head. Now we can head over to our documentation. And in the documentation, you will find the installation instructions to get started with Trivi. Uh, go ahead and install Trivi so you have actually access to it. Now I have here my example project that I'm going to be using uh, for this demo and you just have to make sure that in your terminal Trivi is installed, the Trivi version, and you will find here the version. This is the latest version, 0.42.0. If you want to follow along this tutorial, you have to make sure you have the latest version installed. So if that is not the case, please do upgrade your version. In the documentation, you will then find within docs, you will find a section on misconfiguration scanning. And here's an overview of misconfiguration scanning, including the different types of misconfiguration scans Trivi can perform. So you could use for misconfiguration scanning, either Trivi config command, and then you specify the resource that you want to scan. So in the case of me wanting to scan this Terraform directory over here, so Terraform directory has basically my different Terraform files. So if I want to go ahead and scan that, I can either say Trivi config and then I can scan that. And as you can see, I have here two issues. Or I could go ahead and actually say uh, Trivi and then file system for file system scanning. And I can say I want to use the scanner um, the config scanner and then I can specify also that I want to scan this directory and again it will perform a scan same kind of scan uh, of my Terraform directory that I'm in here so these are the different types of uh, misconfiguration scans that you can perform you can specify as part of your file system scan that you want to use specifically the misconfiguration scanning the configuration scanning um, scanner or you could use Trivi config directly as well now, similar to our other commands, if you specify one of those commands, for example, Trivi config, what you can do then is further tailor down which kind of issues you want to see. For example, the severity, you could then specify that you only want to see critical issues. And that will then filter the number of results that's provided to you. For example, in this case, we are then only going to see the critical issues presented and the high one from before, the medium one from before is not visible anymore. So this is a way of how you can filter down your reported security issues, your reported misconfigurations. For example, you could also specify a dot trivi ignore file. So you could put in here a dot 
Trivi Ignore file. And in that Trivi Ignore file, you can then specify that you don't want to see, for example, the medium issue. You could specify you don't want to see the this AVD. So you can specify AVD and then DIG. And if you specify that, you will also not see the security issue that you specified in the dot trivia ignore file. Please note that the dot trivia ignore file has to be in the same directory. Um, but or if it's in the same directory as you perform the scan, then it's passed automatically. Otherwise, you have to specify where the trivia ignore file is stored. So this is how you can ignore and filter different security issues reported. And now specifically to Terraform, uh, and that's part of our newest feature as part of version 0.42.0, what you can do is you can actually also scan the Terraform plan file for security issues. So if you only have the Terraform plan file in JSON format, you can scan that for misconfiguration issues. Now, how do you actually produce that file? You would first have to do, well, initialize the Terraform repository So as you can see, in this case, this repository just creates, uh, as part of the DigitalOcean uh, Terraform provider, a new cluster. That's what it would provision. And you could create a plan file. And Terraform gives you the option to output the plan uh, resources, or like the that plan, um, I guess, overview of what's going to be created into a separate file. So in this case, it's going to create one resource, which is our DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster. And we've put that into a dot binary, into a binary file. And we can't really open that. It would be gibberish. So, and Trivi can't scan that directly right now as part of the Trivi uh, Terraform misconfiguration scans. So what we can do instead is we can do a Terraform show command and we can specify we want to have it in JSON format and then uh, basically, how do you say, push in <laughs> the binary file into a tfplan.json file. Now you can name it anything else that you would like. And now we will also have our JSON file um, with our plan output. And this file can now be scanned by Trivi. So we can say Trivi config and we can specify we want to scan specifically that uh, tfplan.json file. So basically everything that we have planned um, to scan and we again see our critical issue. Now you can pass in also regular policies into your, um, into your misconfiguration scans. So how you would do that is by basically saying trivi and then you can specify um, well, config and then you specify dash dash policy. You specify your rego policy, uh, example.rego, and then you specify the what you want to scan. So you could specify a policy of what you want to enforce in your Terraform resources and your Terraform modules uh, through rego. You can also right now as part of our uh, file system command. So if you say, um, if you use the command from before, the trivi file system command, and we specify we want to use scanners uh, config, we can then uh, pass in our policy. So it's ignore policy. You can pass in as well in that case to have more complex ignoring of rules as well set up. So ignore policy, and then we can specify the TF plan file that we have from earlier. Now the ignore policy, oh, we also actually have to set that, the ignore policy, so it's open the policy, and then policy rego. So within here we have specified the rego that can be used to ignore the critical issue that we've just seen as well. So we can choose to ignore that as part of an ignore policy as well. So you can also specify within Rego that you want to ignore um, specific outputs.
specific security issues. However, that is right now as part of the file system, uh, file system scanner if you specify that you want to scan for misconfigurations. And here it will then detect that there is a TF plan file. Now I can again remove that policy and then it will again report on that issue on my 008 issue if I don't specify that I want to use this policy. So this is a way how you can also specify through regular ignore policies. As always, I really hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Also, it would mean a lot to myself as well as to all of the contributors who make Trivi possible if you could head over to the Trivi GitHub repository and give us a star on GitHub. The link to the GitHub repository is down in the description. Just click the link and give us a start. It takes like two seconds, please. <laughs> anyway, all of the links, all of the resources, everything I used within this video, as always, is also linked below in the description. So do check out those resources for further information. I really hope to see one of our next videos. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.